breaking overnight the results from Germany's election. It may, though, be some time before we know exactly who will be the country's next chancellor. <laughs> Social Democrat leader Olaf Scholz earlier today in Berlin raising a bouquet of victory. His center-left party won a narrow victory over the party of outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel, her center-right union bloc. Both parties say they're trying to form a coalition government. Merkel is stepping down after 16 years in power. Here she is arriving for a meeting earlier today. But she will remain for the foreseeable future in a caretaker position until there is a successor decided. Now, our Margaret Evans is covering the story for us and live in Berlin on this day after. I guess the prediction was for a tight election outcome, and it certainly was, Margaret. Walk us through the results. Well, that's right, Heather. I mean, I was last night at a party with uh, young members of the Social Democrats uh, party. They were clearly expecting um, an early boost from the exit polls. It didn't happen. And all through the night, it was a real nail biter. But as you say, Olaf Scholz, the leader of the Social Democrats, has come out ahead by 1.6%. Um, the Christian Democrats, though, even though um, it was such a tight race, had a very bad showing. It was their worst performance since the end of the Second World War. Both parties are saying they are capable of form forming a coalition, but people on the streets are saying, you know, with the Christian Democrats showing um, such a poor uh, performance, it should they should perhaps take take a message from the people, step aside, go into the political wilderness. That's certainly what Olaf Scholz wants them to do. He has said that the message has been delivered. He's already said who he'd like to form a coalition with, the Green Party. They did very well. Climate change has been a big issue in this campaign, especially in the wake of those terrible floods we saw early in the year with uh, hundreds dead. Um, he's also mentioned, though, the Free Democratic Party. That's a pro-business party, so that's a complicated mix. But we're seeing here a kind of shakedown of of years of coalition government between these two main parties. And I think what you're going to see now is them trying to differentiate, saying we're the party of change. At the same time, they're giving a nod back to Angela Merkel because Germans are famously uncomfortable with change and they want a steady pair of hands. And uh, <laughs> hers have been the steadiest leading the European Union. 16 years. Where does this leave her? Where does it leave her party, Margaret, after 16 years in power? Well, for now, it leaves her still a chancellor, at least in caretaker form. Um, we were all saying goodbye to her this week, but she's going to be around while they try to figure out <clears throat> what the coalition government is, is going to look like. And I wouldn't write the Christian Democrats off just yet because these negotiations are very, very difficult. And as I've said, there are very disparate parties trying to join together. But for the Christian Democrats, they're really going to have to do some thinking. How do they emerge from under the, out from under the shadow of Angela Merkel? Because what you will have seen in, in not just this vote, but previous votes, that the popularity of Angela Merkel amongst a large part of the German public has drawn people who wouldn't normally vote for Christian Democrats to her. So how do they get away from that? The candidate that they chose to um, to run in this election, Armin Laschet, is a very different personality from her. He was gaff prone during the election. He made some unfortunate comments that were seen as insensitive during the flooding that I'd mentioned before. Um, very different from this calm, collected person who really has come to be seen as the leader of Europe. So how can they redefine themselves? It's a similar question in a way for the Social Democrats as well, because they've been in coalition government with the Christian Democrats, but Merkel has been the focus. So they're going to have to figure out whether there actually is a differentiation, whether the country's moving to the left, to the right. Um, but it will be about defining Germany in, in the post-Merkel era. And of course, that has implications for Germany's European partners and, in fact, the rest of the world as well. She's been such a dominant force in global politics. Indeed, she has. Margaret, there at a key point of a pivotal moment for Germany. Thank you so much. Margaret Evans reporting from Berlin for us today.